Today I'm going to do another Teacher Reacts video. Yeah. I'm EJ Footballs on this channel called Football Land. I make videos about teaching and I give a little glimpse into my lifestyle as an Australian high school English teacher. Today, because of the success of my first Teacher Reacts video, I have decided to make another one. I've had loads of requests for more videos and I had a request from somebody named Grace. Hi Grace for one on Jamae Private School Girl, which is also a Chris Lilly mockumentary. And I have never actually seen this series. And so I'm going to do a reaction video on season one, episode one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I used to be Jamie, but I added the apostrophe in year eight. I'm 17 years old. I live in Sydney, Australia, and I'm a private school girl. Hey, hey, I love you, Jamie, so much. <laughs> I'm a leader. Well, I'm sort of like... It's so funny. Our teenage girls are often like that. It's so funny. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Illy. Yeah, Illy. Illy. I'm really sad <laughs> It's very common and typical for teenagers, especially teenage girls, to have really, really intense relationships and feel really overwhelming, intense emotions. So as a teacher, you really need to keep that in mind and be sensitive to that. To us as mature, balanced, hopefully, adults, it seems outrageous and kind of extreme behavior, but to them, their friendships and themselves are their whole world. So when you're dealing with discipline issues, especially when it comes to fragmented friendships or relationship issues that have caused a problem in the classroom or the playground, be really mindful that to the, to the teenage mind and heart that this is everything and this is so intense and so emotional for them. So my advice is always to just be really mindful and sensitive of that. Yeah, but you're definitely going to win the Hilford Medal this year. Like it's just... Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, who else are they going to give it to? They wouldn't give it to anyone else. No. That's the thing. Uh, Imagine me <laughs> in this frame, guys. Uh, <laughs> Totally smashed oh, it. I am so random. I can't believe I just did that. Back to the assembly. Oh. Look at their faces. Uh, girls, girls, I saw the dance. I reckon the gesture's great. But we've got to be careful that in delivery there's nothing inappropriate. Oh, the other yeah. thing, excuse me, the other thing is we need to get rid of some of face. those more risque dance movements. Yeah, but so, they were totally into it. Those okay. women loved it. Those dance movements are okay for it. things like schoolies. <laughs> Do you know how much work we put into that dancer? I, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. That's not the issue. The issue. Okay, so he's kind of losing them, and I think that if this was me, I wouldn't be, you know, talking to them out there in the middle of the hallway or wherever they are, I don't know, the foyer or something. I would have them in a room, um, and they're kind of feeding off each other too, like they're getting into a bit of a frenzy and they're getting all defensive. And so if I was going to, if I sensed that, I would take them in small groups, smaller groups, like even one-on-one -on -one and have an interview with them just to explain everything and make it very clear what the expectations are. I mean, in reality, this probably wouldn't happen anyway because you would check all of the items before you went to the assembly. Like you would have maybe a rehearsal or something where you would make sure that the items were appropriate for school. And I don't know why this hasn't happened. The way in which you they represent the school. It. You are young women representing Ilford Girls Grammar. Yeah. And I'm not here to negotiate what goes on. There is a line and we mustn't cross it in the future. Alright. You clear on that? Yes. Sorry, sir. All right, she's girls, not, she's off to class. Let's go. You won't do it again, sir. Make sure you don't. We won't. Mm. Bye, sir. Bye. Uh, don't I believe her. I do not believe her. Hi miss, uh, the year sevens are throwing food and stuff, so uh, don't worry, I'll sort it out. I'll get them to clean it up. Alright. See you, miss. Oh, year really? sevens, get up. I mean, really, the teacher just walked off. Mm, surely, surely she would sense that something else, like there was more to the story than that. I mean, wow. When there's an altercation in the playground like this, 
It's really a silly move to just walk away. What you've got to do is find out the facts. Again, find out the information. And a good way to do this is to interview students. So you wouldn't just have it all out there in the middle of the playground. You would call aside a couple of small groups or even individual students to get them to tell you what had happened. A good strategy is to allow the student to speak first. So call them aside and say, talk to me about what happened just then. And as appropriate, ask some questions to get more information out of the student child. Make sure you get both sides of the story so that then you can make an informed decision about what consequence is going to take place or how you're going to prevent and avoid this kind of behaviour in the future. Oh, she's driving. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. Why isn't it going? Because the handbrake is still on. Well, take the handbrake off. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. 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 Shut up, I know what I'm Oh, so I, I thought that was a oh, right. right. Why is the impulse so hot? Oh my god, I can't believe it. You so. didn't see how hot it's Mitchell. Oh my god, god. it's so big. Jamie, seriously, I'm sick of her. I am trying to drive while that little is preventing my. The mum needs to pull the car over and not allow her to drive with all of those friends in the back. It's too distracting and it's dangerous. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Jamie. Bye, guys. Oh, we're flying into state late tonight, dog. This is Mandy's, my dad's assistant. Hi, hi Mandy. Oh. Um, Daddy, can we have pizza tonight? Yeah, we can. Why is she talking is that like that? Jamie? Yeah. Oh, that's not yours. Yes, I told you I needed one for school. Really? And how did you pay for that? Your annex. Have you told your father about school this week? I know we booked Bali. Again? This was to be discussed <laughs> first, Jamie. Which accommodation? The good resort. When deciding whether or not you're going to give permission for your own child or a student, it's really important to get all of the information that you can first. So I usually ask the student or the child, if it's my own child, like, what, why do you want to do this? Tell me about it. Talk to me about what you think is going to happen or what you would like to happen. And then I will make a decision. But you've got to have the information first. Don't just pounce on in there with a no straight away or a yes straight away. Make sure you've got all of the information and try to weigh everything up in a non-emotional way. Daddy. Oh, there's the lift. Um, <laughs> yeah. Party. Like, just us girls this Friday. Mm -hmm. Just all of us. No, no party. Please, I really want one. No, it's year 12. I'm not having a bunch of teenagers, oh, especially ones please. I don't know in the Daddy, house. please. Oh, Jamie can be very persuasive when she wants to be. What I would recommend in this situation is that the dad asks her a lot of questions first before he makes his final decision. And he needs to talk to his wife as well. You know, they need to be working as a team. To just say no straight away, of course she's going to go into her manipulation mode. She's just so manipulative and so entitled that I would really tread with caution because she's already broken so many rules. She doesn't actually deserve a party. She's shown that she can't be trusted. This could be a teachable moment where the parents talk to her about responsibility and being trustworthy and doing the right thing. And they could maybe come up with a compromise of a kind of a celebration party where they have some control, but she still gets a little bit of what she wants. Daddy, oh. please. Full adult supervision and no alcohol that we know of. No alcohol. No alcohol. No. Boys? Um, no boys. Maybe a couple. Come on. Jill, are you agreeable to this? I hear things can get out of hand, I don't know. Let them do it. It'll be fun. Yes. It's none of her business. What? I suppose. Wow. Well, on condition. Yeah, what? That you focus on your studies afterwards. Yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. So we can do it. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And um, no adults are allowed, and you guys have to stay upstairs the whole time. Oh, my God. Okay, so he's listened to his assistant, whatever she is. I can't remember. Personal assistant. Over his own wife, the mother of Jemay. Hmm, that's really dangerous. You can see how this situation has festered over the years and become, that's why Jermaine is the way that she is. And he needs to have a backbone, that guy. He's not, he just gives in to her all the time. I mean, she just, he just said adult supervision and then she said no adults, so. Okay, so Chris Lilly is amazing. The way that he impersonates different kinds of stereotypical people. This show is rated MA15+, plus, so I wouldn't be watching it with children. Um... There's a lot of swearing, which I won't have on my channel, so I've chopped all of that out. And there's a lot of inappropriateness, which I'm not sure if you can handle that or not, but 
it's definitely a satirical comment on the world of teenagers and could be quite interesting if you want to watch that sort of thing by the end of it i'm just so annoyed by her that i don't want, i don't want to watch it anymore so but anyway i hope you liked that if you want to see more teaching tip videos then subscribe to my channel underneath this video and also check out my previous video up here which was my first reaction video and it was summer heights high if you have a suggestion for me of another reaction video to do Put it in the comments because I would love to check it out. I'm really interested because this is a teaching channel. I really want to watch shows or movies that are about teaching so that I can comment on them as well and maybe give you some tips through that avenue. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video.